So we go to overtime. Kieran McCardle has got a hat trick tonight. Kind of a quiet hat trick. A lot, there of, is such a thing. a lot of catching and shooting from about an eight yard range. Flashing the lefty out of St. John's. I mean, you catch and shoot with his feet set. He's as good as anybody on the planet finishing those mid range shots. Six different goal scores for the Woods. Seven different goal scores for the Water Dogs. We get it. We go right to the BL, right? Yeah. Off the face off, yeah. We'll be biggie. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go biggie right off, right off the face off. We get it. If they get it, just bang in there. Stay in there. Be tough. You know what they're gonna go here, right? They're gonna try and get it to fail. Make them work to get it. All right. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Dogs on three. Ready? One, two, three. Talk about the strategy, Biggie. What do they want to do there? They're going to stretch to try to deny Pinnell touching if they lose this faceoff. Water Dogs, third trip into extra time. In like a world of shrinkflation, Connor, where we get less and less from everything. Yeah. We got extra time tonight. I know. We got extra time tonight. More time for the people. More lacrosse for the people. This is great. Fifth time this season we've gone into overtime. So if you're up late with us on the West Coast, enjoy some free lacrosse. Pretty quick turnaround tomorrow. 12.30 local time, 2.30 Eastern time. We will start here in Denver. On ABC. And then we got a little break. We come back at it yeah. on ESPN2. By the way, Atlas Archers on ABC. Great two thirty. I, I mean, the skill level in that game. I don't want to. I don't want to oversell it, but it, to me, it could be one of the top games of the regular season. Look at this. These two, thirteen apiece in terms of face-off wins, battling for that all-important fourteenth win. And it's won by Ooh, Philly. No but look at this. Timeout by Philly because they're out of timeouts, and you can't call timeout. Woods forcing the turnover. Next goal wins it in this game. That's a big transition from college to pro. Because the college coaches just totally overmanage sudden death. Bertrand, his defender falls down. Garnsey. Will he try one hand a shot? Ooh. He does, but it's wide. Stays with Pinnell and the Woods. Plenty of time. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Here's Dennis. He finds Garnsey. Can Garnsey make some magic happen? He's got the shorty on him. Looking to roll inside. No call. Beautiful job by Jake Richard. Loose ball inside. Picked up by DeLuca. He has to just find it in front of the goal mouth. Another no call. Good handle by DeLuca. Nervous moments. Now dogs again with possession and a chance to win. Courier. To Hannah coming out of the box. Brandau's coming out of the box as well. Courier likes this matchup. He has had a great night, 77 and white. Instead, it's Sowers. A two-man game with Courier. Stays with Sowers. Got the shorty. 15 to shoot. Now the help comes in front. McCardle just too high. Sowers has spent a lot of time tonight, top of the arc, operating in front of the formation. 12 to shoot. Surprised they don't go to him on an invert behind. McCardle. Tevlin was all over him, couldn't get it to Courier as the shot clock was winding down. Both teams with opportunities offensively. Neither team can get a really good look. Steal. McCardle is able to get it back to the dogs on the ride. Personnel. Recognized personnel. Bain on Merle. Shoots. Couldn't get much on it. Kelly makes the stop. Here's Fake. 
Gets it to Pinnell. Pinnell will back it up and wait for substitutions, which will be Bertrand and Kirst. Gray's got a shorty. It's Richard. Gray comes up field. Bertrand behind the back. DeLuca doesn't even get through. Ten seconds to shoot, so we didn't get a reset on the shot clock. Berg shoots, scores! The game winner for the Woods! Hard to believe that the Water Dogs are one and eight and just lost their fifth one goal game. Looked like Berg got two two attempts at this, Cotter. It looked like this was kind of like a, a double clutch. He was all hung up on the defender. Yeah, did the ball pop out of his stick for a second, right? There, no, he just does a good job of cradling through a massive amount of pressure. Hudgens Catches all it over him. his shoulder. Shields off Hudgens, keeps the ball on his cross, jumps up, and finds the far post. Westberg, the former Denver pioneer, gives California their third win of the season. Pennell with his third assist on the night, on the goal, the game winner. So they're three and six. Their scoring differential improves to minus 31. <laughs> <laughs> are you doing the math right now in well, your head as to what their chances are? They're not mathematically yes. eliminated no, yeah, right. yeah. at three and six. Let's listen into Nat. Maybe not. Can't get Nat's mic going, so. Okay. Here are the updated standings. Not mathematically eliminated. Looks like the Water Dogs will select first in the 2025 Collegiate Draft, barring a trade. And the frustrating season. You can, you can see the frustration on Michael Sauer's face right and, there. And again, the inability to finish in the fourth quarter when you had a three-goal lead at 11-8. You, you kind of were controlling things in the third quarter and just a, another dreadful offensive performance. Late. Kaylee standing by on the field. Wes, when the ball is in your stick, you always seem to come up clutch. This is very familiar territory for you. Just take us through that overtime game winner. Yeah, I mean, uh, Eli said it earlier. It didn't seem like any team wanted to win this one. We were going to play for a while. So it was good to, good to score that one. And uh, it's always special coming back here and getting to play it. Peter Barton, a lot of good memories here, so it's a, it's a fun night. You won a championship with the Denver Pioneers in 2015. Scored the overtime winner in the semifinal before going into that championship. What did you think playing against Bill Tierney today and how much this win means for your group at this point? Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, Coach T, he's, he's done a lot for me. I, I love playing for him here, so it's uh, it's pretty cool to, to be on the sideline with him. and. Uh, you know, it's like I said, it's just uh, it's just a special place to play, and Denver's such an awesome sports town. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just just excited to be here, and glad we got a win. Thanks so much for your time. Congratulations. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you, Kaylee, Bergie. The beard was there at the end to supply the game winner for the Redwoods. Well, we weren't sure what we were going to get with these two teams that are ostensibly eliminated from playoff competition at the start of the day. Both teams fought hard. I, I got so much respect for these players. I mean, they showed up today and went at it like that they were battling for first place in this league. That That's, that's as cool a, a thing as you'll see all summer. And no one will ever talk about it, but, man, you got to respect because because each of the individuals said, you know what? I don't care what our records are. I'm going to I'm going to deliver my best. The teams tried to 
and so I, I got I got genuine genuine respect for for everything about what we just witnessed.